Five investigators tonight looking into a product used to increase safety on the rails that may also be posing a serious health threat to commuter rail employees. Our Kathy Curran has been speaking with Keolis employees who say they don't feel safe on board these trains. Kathy. And Maria and Ed, some employees who work in the yards and on the trains are concerned about overall safety on the commuter rail. And one of the main issues right now involves the sand used to help with traction that could be harmful to their health. I'll be on the dash, I'll be on the controls. This is where I don't feel safe anymore. A veteran commuter rail employee concerned about safety, speaking out about what he calls a serious health hazard on the rails. So serious, some train engineers are wearing masks to decrease the possible risk of getting sick. Long run, it's going to be doing damage to your lungs. These bags of sand used for traction on the tracks are the threat. The warning spelled right out on the label. It contains the common mineral silica, which can cause serious health problems if the airborne dust is inhaled. Prolonged exposure can lead to cancer and organ damage. Photos we obtained show dust covered controls. The sand settled on the console of the cab. So it's basically like being in a, in a dust storm. The sand problem is unique to the older 1100 series trains. Corrosion inside the sand hopper system and gaps inside are to blame, allowing those tiny particles of dust and sand to seep into the cabs. I don't want to take the chance of having silicon in my lungs, in my throat, just so when I retire I can be sick. So what you're really worried about is these very fine particles up in the air that you can breathe in that get deposited deep into the lungs. Dr. So Greg yeah, Wagner specializes in environmental and occupational health and policy at the Harvard School of Public Health, a pioneer in the study of silica exposure and prevention. Do you think that the engineers have reason to be concerned? Anyone where respirable sized crystalline silica dust is possible to breathe in should be concerned and should make sure that their workplace is effectively monitored. Blows the sand down through. Keolis, the company that runs the commuter rail for the T, began replacing old pipes, insulation, and sealing the cabs to stop the swirling sand after engineers raise concerns. They're handing out these inexpensive disposable masks. Sand can work its way back through the bulkheads. CEO David Scorey doesn't believe believe there's any risk of silica exposure, pointing to recent testing showing silica dust levels below federal limits, but only three out of 22 trains were tested. Why not test the entire fleet? The risk is the same from one locomotive to the next, so in testing three, we think that we've done a representative sample of the fleet. We've discovered leaking sand has been a problem for years. This safety alert issued back in 2015. The people working the rails say it's just one example of poor maintenance putting safety on the line. Red 27 has uh, sand down in the corners over. Some engineers sounding the alarm on the radio, staying behind the controls of a train with sand under protest. You ordered me to take it over? Yes, I'm ordering you to take uh, the 1127 train 311. Taking it under protest, over. If you were an engineer behind the controls, would you be concerned? I think I might be frustrated, but I think we're doing the right things to address those frustrations and you know, to raise the quality of the equipment because at the end of the day it is, it is people's office, it's their working environment. And even with the modifications that are supposed to be done by April, employees are still worried about any possible exposure that may have already happened. The Federal Railroad Administration has been in touch with the T and Keolis but wouldn't share any details.